Hey, and welcome to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda, if you are new here, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching today's video. Maybe you wanna know if it's even possible to wake up at 4 a.m., how I wake up at 4 a.m., and why. So, go ahead and watch this video through to the end. I'm sharing with you six ways that waking up at 4 a.m. drew me closer to God and truly changed my life. The first way waking up at 4 a.m. changed my life is it motivated me. I found myself lacking purpose, lacking accountability, sis. I know that you can relate. It is so hard to find passion when you are exhausted all the time. So you wonder how waking up at 4 a.m., which sounds exhausting in and of itself, can really, really help. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. When I wake up at 4 a.m., I feel motivated. Of course, once I get that first cup of coffee in and get into prayer, it reminds me of why I'm up, what I'm doing, and when I think about what my end game is. When I think about what is the purpose, what is driving me, what is it that I'm working so hard to do? Waking up at 4 a.m. really has helped to motivate me. This is another thing in my life that motivates me. Maybe you can think about what that picture is in your mind that pushes you to reach for higher and greater and more of God in your life. The second way waking up at 4 a.m. has really helped to grow me closer to God and change my life is that it identified my time with God. Sis, I know you can relate that if you don't allow yourself to have a time, it's easy to not have a time at all. I have found this to be true. When I don't make it a priority, it does not happen. But you want to know what does happen? Frustration. Frustration happens. I feel failure. I feel easily defeated when I don't have my time. So waking up at 4 a.m. has really helped me identify my time with God. The third way waking up at 4 a.m. has really drew me closer to God and changed my life is it allowed me to get my priorities straight. When the hustle and bustle of life takes over, when the to-do list takes over, I'm unable to keep the first thing the first thing. This 4 a.m. thing really has unlocked unmentionable power in my life. And I know that waking up at 4 a.m. could really help you too. This is yet another reason why I push through and wake up at 4 a.m. If you go to bed earlier, you can get up earlier, and soon you will begin to love that early morning time with God. Number four, waking up at 4 a.m. provided a quiet time. Sometimes life is just plain too loud. Can you relate? Comment below the word yes if you get this one. If you're a mom of littles or even just a woman in general, your mind takes over and it's just so loud. The world is pulling you in a million different directions. Social media is begging for your attention. Your email list is a mile long. All of the to-dos are running rampant in your mind. It's just plain too loud, sis. But this 4 a.m. really provided a quiet time for me. The fifth way is it made me hungry. What do I mean by that? It doesn't mean I'm up at 4 a.m. making breakfast. I was hungry for more of God. The more I get into his presence, sis, the more I want of him. This is truly something that catches fire inside of your soul when you make waking up at 4 a.m. a priority. The sixth way waking up at 4 a.m. really drew me closer to God is that it helped me to encourage others. After all, isn't the whole point of living a life for Jesus to share him? So my question to you is who are you inspiring today? Who are you impacting? Are you sharing Jesus with the world around you? Because when you wake up at 4 a.m., or maybe for you it's 5 or even 6, getting up early really sets the precedent for your entire day. So today, I simply want to know, did you like this video? Comment below and let me know if you want more just like this one. What topics are you struggling with, sis? How can I help you? Don't forget to check out the description box below. I have a new channel that I'm working on. It's called That Christian Mom. I'm also blogging at stayingkingdomminded.com and thatchristianmom.com. 
two totally different niche worth of information that I'm sharing with you. On That Christian Mom, I do all things mommy business and budgeting. So if you're looking to start a business, let me help set you up for success. And if you are looking to stay kingdom minded, head over and check out that blog as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and come back every Monday and Friday for more videos just like this one. Stay kingdom minded in all you do, and I will see you in the next one.